Let's talk about key commands in Dorico. Over this course, I'm going to be throwing a lot of key commands at you because the keyboard is the quickest way around Dorico. I want to show you a few quick ways that you can help yourself learn shortcuts. The first is this. When you take your mouse to click something, see if one of these key tips shows up. Maybe stop and read that and use the key command next time. I've not gone through the menu bar with you yet, and quite a lot of the time there's redundancy with functions being in the panels too. But again, look out for the key tips here. If you can't find a shortcut for something, or you want to assign your own custom shortcuts, go to Preferences. That's on the Dorico menu on Mac, or the Edit menu on Windows, or it's Command comma or Control comma on Windows, and click on Key Commands. Now you have a search and there are all these disclosure arrows you can use to find the functions you want. And some of these are nested. There's a lot of detail here. So let's say I go help, key commands, which is the place I was planning on taking you next, and then I type command C into the box. And you may have realized that's the key command for copy, and sure enough, I get a warning. OK, so I'll try J. That seems to work. So then I'm going to confirm it with this Add Key Command button, and then I'm going to apply and close the dialog. Now if I click the Help menu, huh, it says J. OK, let's get out of this. And now I'm going to type J. So this has just opened in my browser. This page is local to your computer, so it'll show you any custom key commands you've added plus all the default ones. I'm not going to talk through each of these shortcuts individually. There's hundreds of them. But in this top section, they're split across this list of contexts. The other thing is, if I hold down Command on my keyboard, or just click here, it's going to give me the shortcuts that are available when I actually type Command in Dorico itself. Same goes for Shift, and if I hit Shift and Alt together, and Alt and Command together, you get the picture. It's all color-coded. So Command is red because this Command button is red. And then there's this Search. So let's say I search for Key, because I've just added this shortcut for key commands. Yup, that shows up here. One final thing I should point out is that this picture here assumes you have a number keypad. It doesn't matter if you don't. All of these functions work fine on the regular numbers 